The world is kind of crazy right now, so I thought it'd be fun to do a little bit more of a casual get to know you video. If you're new here, my name is Katrina. I am the artist and educator behind this YouTube channel. I am super passionate about teaching the why behind the how, so you're able to take what you learn from this channel and apply them within your own work. So today we're taking a little bit of a break from tutorials and doing a little bit of kind of a get to know you. I've had many videos on here, but I haven't done any that are a little bit more vulnerable and a little bit about me personally. So I posted on Instagram as well as on my YouTube community uh, page or whatever that is, I asked if you had any questions for a video. And I'm really excited to share some of those with you now. And if you have any questions for me that were not included in this video, go ahead and leave them in the comment section. And I'm hoping to do a follow up video within a couple of months. So question one, what is your favorite hobby? Um, you could definitely argue that drawing is my favorite hobby. Um, that is what I've always been drawn to do. That's always been what I do, you know, when I'm bored or if I know that I'm going to be somewhere for a long time, I'm usually bringing a sketchbook and a pencil. Or if there's a napkin out and I'm, you know, waiting for the check to come or, so, you know, whatever's going on, I'm probably doodling a little bit. Um, and that's just really my passion. Outside of drawing and painting and just kind of the fine arts in general, I'm actually a pretty avid knitter. <laughs> <laughs> so I haven't, this is my first project in two years. Um, I got pregnant with my twins about two years ago and that made my life a lot more difficult. And so I had to kind of choose what I was going to do more um, in a more picky way. And so I put away knitting for a while and I'm now getting out because they need hats for the winter. And so I'm making hats for all of my boys and um, that's what I'm doing kind of in my free time when I'm not drawing. So our next question is, after you finish a painting, do you add a layer of varnish? And no, I do not. Uh, you, that's not something that is necessarily required for watercolor. And since I primarily work in watercolor, I have never varnished those paintings. I have varnished oil paintings or acrylic paintings in the past and watercolor, especially because it's it dissolves in water and applying a liquid to the surface could distort the paintings. I have not even kind of dipped my toe in. Um, I have done a little bit of research on it and there is one varnish that if you're interested in varnishing your watercolors that I would recommend down below. And again, this isn't from personal use. This is just, I did a little bit of research and I thought if I wanted to varnish one of my paintings, which I don't at this point, um, this is the one that I would try out first. Next question is how long have you been wanting to do YouTube? So YouTube was a little bit of an accident for me. I was a fine art wedding stationer for a couple of years and I found that blogging really helped to support my income <laughs> and just getting people to see my work and to find my website. And so I was working really heavily on my blog um, as a wedding stationer again. So I did, when I launched my first wax seal design, I wanted to like go really big with the blog post. And so I decided to do a video um, together with a how-to tutorial. When we were growing up, my siblings and I would make videos together and they were just super goofy, but I enjoyed um, kind of the nerdy part of editing things together and telling a story. And I've always loved blogging and teaching in that way. It wasn't really a thing like when I was growing up. I wasn't growing up hoping to be a YouTuber. I wasn't growing up hoping to be a teacher. Um, and it's just something that's kind of happened naturally. It's a great way that I can continue teaching and doing some of what I love and sharing some of uh, my knowledge with you guys. Uh, next question is, is your family and friends supportive? And I'm assuming because it came from the same person as the YouTube channel comment, I'm assuming that are they supportive of the YouTube channel? And I would say yes. Um, my family has been very supportive of my business. My husband especially has been, has had my back and um, really helped me out in so many different ways uh, throughout this whole journey and this whole experience. And so, yes, my family has been very supportive and I think I'm really fortunate for that. Do you have any pets? No, I do not. <laughs> I have three little boys, so I kind of think that I have enough on my plate right now. I'm not a huge animal person. I love animals. I love your dog. I also love leaving your dog at your house and going to my house. So for me, that is like one of the things that people get the most angry with me about. Um, I Again, I love your dog. I love visiting your dog. I don't want to take him home with me. <laughs> like, I don't know. That's just for me. Um, so we will not have a pet. My husband also has a lot of allergies. Um, and even though he grew up with pets, uh, I don't think that we will have one in the future. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What is your favorite wax seal color? I would have to say 
Oh, that's a hard one. I, I love antique gold. That's kind of the one that I always go back to if there's one that I'm kind of hemming and hawing between. Antique white or pearl white, depending on the company that you're working with. I love that as well. I love kind of the metallic, the creamy white. Um, it's not like a stark white. I really like that as well. I've really enjoyed dusty blue, but in general, a lot of the artists I are colors that they've come out with lately have been really pretty and enjoyable. Along with that, what is your favorite wax seal stamp? And I'd have to say Vintage Peonies is my very favorite right now. I do have a soft spot for um, my own botanical initials. That was a longer project for me and I really enjoyed it. I think that they're perfect for weddings. Um, and I created it right as I was kind of starting to leave weddings. So it was, what are your favorite flowers? Um, I used to say peonies. I've kind of evolved a little bit. It's kind of just a little sidestep. I love garden roses and like the cabbage where like the cabbage style garden roses where they're all kind of cupped in. Um, I love, love, love those. And so if you kind of look at my, actually, if you look at my work, you'll see those style of roses throughout just because they're my favorite to draw. I love roses in general. I even love like the wild roses that have less petals or, you know, like some that are a little bit more intricate. Um, but I would say in the past couple of years, roses have been my favorite. Another high one on the list is foxgloves. I love foxgloves. I can't have them in my garden right now because of my little boys, but um, I really, I do love foxgloves as well. Do you sell any of your artwork? Actually, yes. I will be uploading if it's not already. If it is, I will have it linked down in the description, um, but I will be selling some limited edition prints of my artwork coming up soon. Some of it I've shared here um, in tutorials and some of it I've kind of just kept behind the scenes for myself. I, it's hard for me to sell artwork for a couple of reasons. Um, it's hard for me to do both to teach and to sell and to create things to sell, but then I can't really do a tutorial on it. And so then how do I teach it? Yeah, it's just kind of a whole mess. So I haven't had artwork for sale for quite a while. I'm excited to have it out there again and to be a little bit more vulnerable. And I hope that you guys enjoy it. Um, if again, if it's, if the collection is up now, I will have it linked down below. Um, if not, you're probably looking at some preview images right now. And I hope that you love them as much as I do. Well, I hope that that was as fun for you as it was for me. I think it's fun to get to know each other on a little bit more personal level instead of you just hearing about my color theory or whatever else we've been talking about on this channel. I do think it's a little bit fun to get to know the teacher behind the scenes and see like what else we have in common, how we might differ, and how we can continue to learn and grow from each other. Um, if you have any questions beyond what we talked about today or it sparked your you know, curiosity about something, go ahead and leave that in the comment section. I will be pulling from the comment section of this video for a future Q&A video. I'm hoping to do one in a couple of months. So I'd like to do one every quarter or every three months, um, but we'll see how that goes. And as always, a huge thank you for your comments, likes, and for when you share my videos with those who might enjoy them. And until next time, happy drawing.